Well, here we are about to begin the fall semester, and I have to tell you, I'm feeling very positive about everything right now. I'm excited to get back into the classroom and meet everyone in person and teach a face-to-face -face class. I'll be offering Psychology 100 in the auditorium this fall and of course students will spread out and I'll have a microphone so everyone can hear me but other than that the course will be run in exactly the same way. Uh, I will have lots of fun and engaging activities as much as possible, uh, interactive videos, and throughout each class session I will be asking students to respond to different questions that I provide and that information will get popped up onto the big screen in real time and that way I can organize discussion points around that and importantly you get to see how your fellow classmates are thinking about certain topics which is very valuable so come to campus with a positive attitude and together we can take a big classroom and make it feel like a small classroom so I'm really excited to get started and to see everyone Greetings all! I am so excited to welcome you to the start of the semester. Yes, some things will look quite different. We have implemented many changes on campus and in this classroom with your safety and health in mind. As you look around the room, you can see that the desks and the chairs have been arranged to comply with social distancing guidelines. Of course, we will all be wearing masks, but fret not, I will be using a microphone so that my voice will reverberate throughout the room. Now, doesn't that just draw you in? However, I want to encourage you that not all change is bad. Look around at all the technology available to us. This room was designed with you in mind. There are six different screens placed around the room. So as you and your fellow students create content using your mobile device or laptop, for I often use in-class activities to keep you engaged, you can display it on, your, on one screen for your team members to see, or we can display it on all six screens so that all classmates can see. The desks are writable surfaces. How about it? You can write on the desk without getting in trouble. Now, when was that allowed in high school? Of course, you may want to bring your own dry erase marker and uh, eraser, again, with your safety and health in mind. But if you don't, that's not a problem. I can provide those to you. And we have sanitizing stations all around campus. But my goal will be to use these tools and others to engage you in the course material. Of course, there will be some lecture content, but you can also plan on viewing video clips, participating in in-class activities, and completing out-of-class projects. I love technology, and I am so excited to experiment, experiment with different technology to find ways for you to engage with the course material, your peers, and me in a fun and safe manner. Fall semester, bring it. This semester, the ecology courses that I'm teaching uh, will include a mixture of online and outdoor lessons. We will spend ample time observing nature, identifying plants and animals, and learning about different habitats. My courses won't feel substantially different than in a normal semester. There are a few exceptions that I've adopted for safety, however. Sometimes I'll be splitting my larger labs into two smaller groups that will rotate. Half of the students will meet with me to conduct field work, the other half will work on literature research or video group projects, and they can choose to meet physically together on campus or remotely from home. These smaller groups come with side benefits. They will allow my students and me to become better acquainted and allow for more personalized attention. Lab activities that are computer-based will now be held remotely, with students having the choice to work from home or from campus computers. Rather than introducing lab activities inside the classroom, um, I will be making short background videos, kind of like this one, to introduce students to the activity, or I will be talking about field methods near the pavilion, out on the lawn, or in our natural areas. I'm also weirdly excited about the new megaphone that I've ordered that should allow me to be easily heard despite my mask. In lieu of a face-to-face -face field trip to learn about wetland ecology and delineation, I'm actually working with conservation district staff and a media commons consultant to film a field trip. I'll augment the video with a Q&A session with the environmental educator and also by bringing samples of soils and plants on campus for students. 
This combination of activities should give students a really robust introduction to wetlands without the need to travel.